Hello guys, welcome to the 27th session of Blazor Tutorials for Beginners. In this session, we will learn routing in Blazor application. Let's see where the logic of routing exists. In the client side application, an app.razor file contains router tag. It specifies assembly for app. Here it sets assembly of program class. Along with this, in index.html, we need to set the base path. The server side app has a little bit of different structure. In the startup file, we have enabled routing map blazer hub for a single R and set the fallback page to host. The host is CSHTML instead of Razor. This file contains HTML code that is similar to the index.html in client side. It also contains a base tag to set the base path of the application. In the app component, here it sets assembly of startup instead of program. Let's switch back to client side project. Create a folder for session 27. Let's create a new component. Hello. We have already seen how to use page directory to make component accessible via URL, right? When the project builds the page directive that will be converted to route attribute and added on auto-generated class created by the component. Use page directive and set routing to session 27 hello page. We can access this page with this URL, but what if you also want to display this page when the user directly writes hello page? Blazor allows us to specify page directive multiple times to component. For example, you can just add hello page. Note that text written in the page directive must start with a slash. Now, this component can be accessed via both of the commands. So let's check it out. Open hello page. Here we got hello and open hello page under session 27 see we got the same blazor also allows us to obtain the parameter value from the query string to understand this let's create a new component named display name add page directive session 27 display name here we will get name parameter in URL. To obtain this value, we must need a parameter or cascading parameter. Let's add a parameter type string name and simply display your name is name. Save the file and run the project. Open display name. Here we got not found. Because we need to specify name in parameter as per our routing pattern, right? Let's add Nilay. We got your name is Nilay. Here the value of the placeholder is passed in the parameter. Here we have used string type placeholder in routing pattern. Blazor supports several patterns. Stop project execution first. Let's create a new component named sum. In this example, we will obtain two numeric values and display it its sum. Now add page directive for session 27 sum num1 of type int and also num2 of type int. 
add a parameter for num1. Also for number 2. Let's create a property which will retain total of those two numbers. Add display number 1 plus number 2 is total. Save the file and run the project. Open some page, pass 10 and 20. Here we got 30 as per expectations. Let's remove number 2 from URL. Here we got not found content as we have not specified this pattern. Blazor does not support optional parameters like web APIs. To solve this problem, we have to add another routing. It just has number 1 only. So when we will not pass number 2, it will still open this component as we have added another pattern for that. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Using the page directive, we can specify the routing pattern for the component. We can specify multiple patterns too. We can also use placeholders in the pattern. A placeholder has written inside curly braces. This placeholder can be obtained in traditional parameter or cascade parameters. By default, its type will be a string. However, we can also use another data type. Here, we have used integer. For the optional parameter, we have to use multiple pattern. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.